Hey bud and welcome. So here is my power of cables. This is my external. This is the internal one right here that goes right there. This is my speed control. And you can see the internal kind of wraps around from down below. <clears throat> and this is where the stock pill assist and motor cables will come out. But that's where the battery connection cables go in. And there's the connection ports from down below right here. And the, there's a decent amount of cables inside here that's packed in. So you'll be able to probably take that out and route it if you wanted to. But um, I'm not sure if the connections um, for the speed control are either connected down here or they're connected up here. But if they're connected down here, it'll be easier. But um, to take out um, the cover for this and the top, there's six screws, two on the bottom, two in the middle, two on the top, and then two screws to take off the plastic face here. The two screws down here, you don't really need to take off. You just need to loosen up and push this in because that's all that holds this in place is the two plastic, the two screws up here. And then that comes off pretty easily. There's a metal plate with a tiny little groove. That's where the cables are routed. Um, it's all internal, so it has its own internal groove system built into the frame, which is nice. And speed control is up there. And uh, just be aware that the little pins that hold this uh, battery or pushes up when you push it down to clip in place right here. Um, have to have the cables route around it so it's a bit tricky um, to figure that out but um, if you do want to have the internal and external at the same time you will have to probably find a switch system um, when you plug in a Y connector from the speed control to both of the battery ports I would have like a uh, a power switch an analog power switch on both battery sets when it comes out um, when they come down into the system so like if you if you have if you have it like this where you have your plug here and then you have the extension plug I would have like a power switch right here on the red or the negative for this battery and then um, that way you can disconnect the entire connection from that battery and then do the same thing for that uh, the internal battery when it comes up to be exposed you have a little connection right here because you might um, have a backlash of power performance from one battery to another and you might end up charging the lower ma battery pack itself and that means that you'll overcharge the main battery and break it down or even cause some failures or jazz like that so I would take that uh, caution right there that way it's better safety and you also can turn off both batteries if you're not having to run the bike because I've noticed with the stock ability that um, when the battery is left in the socket and since everything's internal and the only thing that turns on the bike is the power button and the power switch here even though this is not on there's still a micro ability of power still flowing from here to the power ability of the um, bike speed control which means that you're gonna it'll still drain the battery a bit even though the system's not on <clears throat> so my fix from the stock ability was just lifting the battery up or like when I did with my standard um, speed control that I upgraded with throttle I took out the power port here and just left it right there to make it so I can disconnect it instead of having it plugged in all the time that way it didn't waste any power but yeah it's um it'll be a little tricky to 
Um, if the, you have to get to the cables up here for the um, power port instead of down here, it'll be a little tricky to kind of cable route everything uh, back into place. So if you're able to probably just cut the wire um, halfway between this piece, I mean, the speed control and uh, from inside this, and then do your cable system, that will probably be the best instead of having to screw with having to undo all everything like there and then um yeah just solder on your plugs um i used um i use these e i'll link them down below um bit they're like the e i mean the x x60 plugs and they just come with exposed ends and then I use these uh, kind of heat shrink wrap solder system ability, and that was like easy. All you have to do is just get one of these, get a cheap little lighter, and just kind of like hover the flame over it, and just basically heat shrinks the system together. Um, it will melt the solder in the middle ring, and then you just heat shrink the other sides, and it will just stick them all together and they're boom waterproofed so yeah so the internal i would have it kind of come out for here and then have like a plug like either in the middle or the back and that way you can switch it off and then for your external pack if you have the rack system you can put it right here or on the side and just switch it on boom And then you'll have dual power of ability right there. Or if you want to go my crazy route of just unplugging cables, that's fine. But yeah. <laughs> but as I told people before, um, this battery pack that I have is 36 volt, 3 aw, and it fits my entire Iberia bag. Um, a little bit more bulky than usual because I did buy some foam because it is just a pure battery itself there's no protection on the outside so this foam is on the bottom and on the top and that allows it to condense the foam when there's impact and that doesn't have any um, failure to the battery itself and for my bag I also this thing does kind of jump so I kind of modified my Iberia bag because it's not a Velcro bag. I cut on the plastic bomb here and bought some cheap Velo, uh, Velcro strips and that kept the bag from bouncing around. Because I also have a multi-mount. So this kind of just disconnects from the back right here. And that kept on getting um, that plastic lip that keeps the back together just jumps off that metal railing so the velcro helps it keeps stable so I have um, I'll link this also this is just some cheap car uh, foam that basically is for your garage and you put it there and if your car accidentally hits the wall it's just gonna hit the foam instead I don't know why people would even do that but yeah Bought two set, cut it down, pretty easy. Don't even really need to take off the top. And then I bought some, um, you don't really need to buy it, but I kind of uh, cut off. Um, this was These are exposed ports um, for the battery. So I used my solder heat shrink system, put on a Traxxas plug on that, and then for Port for this, I put in the other Traxxas plug, and then there's a computer uh, plug for this. And I just left that like that. And it works pretty well. And don't ask me if I if I can give a link to this. Um, Amazon doesn't sell this bag anymore or this system anymore. 
you'll have to buy their actual dedicated rack and bag system if you wanted to but then you won't get the three pin mounting system as I have for this system that I'll link down below but yeah peace out